hello friends in this video i will explain how to write a applet uh, for animation so in this example we will animate a ball so uh, for a applet we need to import two classes applet and graphics graphics class for from awt package and applet class from AP, applet package and let's draw one ball first of all so we will use paint method graphics g and there is a method g dot draw all and here we will specify the point at which point we want to draw so let's say 50 50 and what will be the width and height so this method actually take x y coordinate then height and width so if in order if we want to create a circle of 50 radius we have to provide here 100 so this is the height and width so uh, first see the output of this one so we will compile our program so uh, the applet tag we have written in the same file in comments so we will use applet viewer for execution of this applet so first we will compile our file uh, remember this one when you write an uh, applet your class need to be public so when we make our class public the name of the file need to be same as the class name so our file name is first.java so we compiled our program compiled successfully now we will applet viewer first.java so uh, this is a, actually a big ball so what we will do we will increase the height and width of our window and we will make it short let's say 40 and now again we will compile it and we, so this one is fine now we want to move it now the thing is that if you want to make animation in applet uh, we have to go for multi threading because uh, in applet if you use the same thread for our animation thing so it might be possible that window component will not be drawn properly so uh, in this class we will take one uh, xy coordinate so these coordinate will specify at which point we want to draw our circle okay now uh, second thing uh, we will take inc uh, this is the increment in x coordinate and this is the increment in y coordinate so in at which rate we want to move our object so this is the rate of moving now uh, we will write our init method so this method will be called one time so we will set x equal to 0 y equal to 0 uh, okay uh, sorry this x uh, we will keep it same as this one 50 50 so we want to uh, draw our first circle on 50 and 50 and the rate these rate we want to make it uh, let's say 1 so this is the rate of moving so in paint method instead of 50 50 i will write x and y so we are done with init method so now what we will do uh, we will make this program uh, multi threaded program so for that thing we need to implement runnable interface in this class and whenever we write runnable interface we need to write one run method so the extra thread uh, which will be created during execution of this program that thread is responsible for execution of only this method so in this method what we will do we will run a loop infinity times And in this loop, what we will call our paint method repeatedly. So uh, there are a method available, re uh, repaint. 
so we will use that method instead of paint methods so we will call repaint method now for moving we have to update these xy these xy coordinate so what we will do uh, let's say we will x equal to x plus what is the rate so th these are the rate i and c x and we will multiply it 1 and say similar for y plus i and c y multiply 1 why we are doing this one this one will specify for uh, how much gap we want to provide in our movement in the next time where this uh, shape uh, circle will be drawn and this i and c s x this will specify uh, the direction so let's see the output of this one then the things will be more clear to you so in the start method public void start what we will do we will create a thread th new sorry no. thread and we will pass the current object in this one and then so when we call ts dot start immediately extra thread will be created and that thread is responsible for execution of this one and what we are doing here we are calling repaint which in turn is calling paint method so this paint method will draw a circuit on x and y so if we see the execution of this one so there is uh, wait uh, what we have missed here after repaint we will give a pause of one second thread dot sleep so in sleep method the time is specified in millisecond and whenever we use thread dot slip method this method can generate a exception so we will enclose this one and try and catch so <coughs> we have uh, defined init method start method run method paint method so let's execute our program again so we will compile it and we will run it so if you can see it start moving but uh, the movement is very slow so in order to make it faster what we will do we will increase the uh, decrease the time of sleeping and we will make it 100 so we will again compile it Run it. So here, if you can see the ball start moving. Now uh, the problem with this one is that when it will come here, so what we want whenever this ball strike one of its wall of window, it should uh, change its direction. So that things uh, the changing of direction we will implement using those variable i and c x and i and c y. So if you will notice here this. Uh, it will cross the window so we want to change the direction whenever we find that uh, it uh, hit the wall so how we will do that so here we will apply some if else so first we will check the current what is the current x and we will add 40 so, uh, so if this x plus 40 if this is greater than width of our applet so if this if this is greater than so we will change direction minus 1 so now it will start decreasing x value if x plus 40 Okay, uh, now uh, so uh, second, if uh, x is becoming 
less than zero or make it uh, less than 10 so we will make it incx from 1 because if the um, x is going uh, in this corner we will change the direction again and we will do the same for y i and c y equal to minus 1 and if y is less than 10 in that case we will make it plus 1 so now uh, we will and we will uh, increase the speed make it 50 so now we again compile our program run it so let's wait for uh, what happened when it will hit one of the ball it's <coughs> moving 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 so here it hit so after hitting it's going back so in order to make this more so what we will do here we will initially draw our uh, oval on 20 20 and uh, we will decrease this value in so the moment seems uh, more better so here we will compile it again and run it so here you can see the moving is fast so this start moving and again so it will hit it here So this is the uh, in, uh, if you want to make it more uh, movement like from here to here. So you can take a, a random number. Okay, so that random number uh, can give you a random movement. Thank you very much.